This next test is the empty can test. This is a test for supraspinatus tendonitis or tear of the supraspinatus tendon. What you do with the patient is bring the shoulder up in forward flexion to 90 degrees, but in the scapular plane, not right out in front of them and not at 90 degrees. It's basically about 45 degrees. Then you have the patient with the elbow extended, have the patient fully pronate the, the forearm so the thumb is face down. That's the empty can test, as if you're pouring out an empty can. And what the patient does now is resist my downward pressure by an upward pressure or a flexion action in the shoulder. This should cause pain by the supraspinatus tendon coming under the acromion and attaching to the humerus. A compression between those two sites will cause a pinching of the supraspinatus tendon and cause pain. What they have found out is the full can test or the thumb up in a neutral position actually isolates the supraspinatus tendon more so than the empty can test and is actually a better test for really testing the supraspinatus tendon and finding true weakness of the supraspinatus muscle. So an empty can or a full can test is done exactly the same way except the thumb is up, elbow is extended, arm is out in the scapular plane, and you put a downward pressure while the patient pushes straight up. Again, that's gonna cause pain in the exact same spot as the empty can test. This was the empty can and the full can test for supraspinatus tendonitis.